This is DC Danton Crow Crusader. This is the last day of, uh, of January. Tomorrow is February 1st. Uh, last night, one of my subscribers came to uh, watch over me while I was uh, feeding the birds. And yeah. It was very, very nice of him. And I want to say again, another uh, heartfelt thanks for that. And it was very enjoyable meeting him and learning about um, also feeding the birds. And what was wonderful, when he was standing here on the sidewalk, uh, Charlie actually came down to him. He had a little bag of peanuts and, and Charlie actually came right near him. I was, was really shocked. Uh, but it was just wonderful. It was just wonderful to see that. And yeah, so trying to figure out where my little Charlie is. I have no sausage today, but uh, I have nuts here and cheese, right? Not going to work. Oh, here's our Charlie. Charlie! Charlie! Come here, Charlie. Come here, Charlie. Here. Charlie. Come here, Charlie. Come here, Charlie. I don't have any sausage. Go ahead. Eat, Charlie. Take what you want. Good, Charlie. Go. Okay. Charlie got something today. It's very cold. As you can see, the frost on the ground here, can't you? Um, <laughs> there they go. I think it's minus one or minus two today. But I think this is the last day, last cold day in the cycle. Looks like the pigeons are out today. See them over there on the roof? You know, it was also interesting. The anti-bird device, I showed him where it was, he, it actually went off. And, uh, and it's a weird thing because when we started talking, all of a sudden it went off. And that was just, that was crazy. Normally it wouldn't shut it off, but they did. And I wonder if it's because he was there. I wonder about that. Um, here's our little gulls. What I don't see is Seymour. Where's our Seymour? Where's our Seymour? And uh, are there any real gulls here? No. Yes. There's one right there. A little mew gull. But not a whole lot. Not a, I mean, not a whole lot of gulls. Should be a lot more a cold day like this. But look at these crows here. Look at our crows. Okay, now, since we're making a lot of noise down that way, let's go down here and let's put our food down here. There's just too much noise uh, toward the schoolyard. They're uh, doing work down there. So we'll, we'll go down here. So, a lot of nice comments again. I want to thank you for those. Uh, I'll try to get to them as, you know, as soon as I can. I was at the doctor this morning and uh, there's some tests that need to be done. And I need an MRI. So, I was very busy this morning. Okay, I'll put these over here. I'll put this down over here. And we'll start. We'll start from over here. So, give a chance for the crows to get something. And we'll dump out here. But no, uh, no Seymour. No Seymour. I'm 
still looking to see if Seymour's here, but I don't. I can't tell you there's, there's not as many as seagulls. Now, I don't know if that, if that has to do with, it's very cold and they should be here unless there's another feeding opportunity or, or the uh, fertilizer they throw down here took some of the gulls out because they're very sensitive to that. That's what I read on the internet. So that it's called uh, uh, blue, blue seed, blue corn. They're very sensitive to that. They can't distinguish, they can't taste it. And that's what makes it so deadly for them. Whereas the crows have a better, well, got it right on the leg. There we go. All right, that's okay. I'm going, going to feed the cat when I get home. And uh, not a problem. This jacket has so much, <laughs> so much doo doo on it <laughs> from the gulls. Okay. Uh, yeah. This is my bird, my bird outfit. So it's like a Cookies are eating something over there. Not sure what that is. Looks somebody may have thrown something down here. Put down our peanuts here. Looks like they found something there. The bad thing is, also, is that this fertilizer also. Uh, contaminates the uh, contaminates the uh, insects so when they eat the insects they also can die the birds so it's just it's just an awful thing this uh, what do they call it blue blue seed blue corn it's got a bluish color it's in granular form uh, of course it's water soluble so any moisture in the air, it dissipates and it's, uh, it's on top of the grass. It's in the grass, it's in the soil now, it's on top of the earth. As they poke around, they get some of it in their mouth or they eat an insect or yeah, it's very terrible stuff. Uh, the church denies any wrongdoing, although their whole place was spread with it. Uh, the bishop said he doesn't have any control over that. Uh, yeah. So anyway, we got some bird haters here discussing what I'm doing, but uh, I'm not going to let them get me down. So I've got so much great encouragement from my subscribers and the uh, they give me the power to continue to, to move on. So, anyway. Huh. Uh, there she's making the sign there that says you're crazy. Yeah, well, okay. If feeding starving birds uh, in minus temperatures is crazy, I like to know what normal is. So, but anyway, interesting that our little Seymour isn't here. Uh, what happened to our little Seymour and his friends? Neither one is here. So, anyway. <laughs> we'll see if Charlie comes down anymore. We used to get a lot of cheese at Charlie. Uh, and of course there's, uh, there's peanuts out there to be had as well. So, pigeons are really going after it this morning, but it is cold. Well, I'm going to end this video and uh, we're going to go home. We'll wait a few minutes for Charlie if he comes back. And then I'm going to uh, try and search for kitty cat. He got 
that walnut. He got that walnut. Oh, look, Crow got some of that egg. Good going. Anyway, there's that car again. Oh, I saw that car there the other day. Anyway, um, uh, I'm not going to turn around. That same lady who was making those obscene gestures is screaming behind me, so I'll just let her go. Anyway, this is DC Danton Crow Crusader wishing you a great day. Last day of January until, uh, until t uh, later today. Okay, have a good one. Look at our little birds. Aren't they beautiful? And sun shining today. It's cold, it's windy, but the sun is out. And the spring is right around the corner.